Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Rob Schwartz from ACA Test Prep and Brain Buffet. And what I wanted to do was just give you a super quick kind of video here on how to install multiple versions of the software on your computer. So if you're working at a you know industry or a district or something, a school district, and you've got IT people that sort of push this stuff to your machines, there's a whole different way to do that and they're gonna have to kind of handle that. I can't demonstrate that because I don't have a network and do that type of deployment here at Brain Buffet World Headquarters. But um, I do wanna show you how you can install multiple versions of the apps. So I just did it for Photoshop, but here you can see Illustrator CC17. I've got this option to update. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click that update button. And if I just click update, it's going to delete my CC15 version. Uh, that's not what I want. I want to be able to include both, right? I want to have both on my machine for a little while. And so what I can do is just choose this option here, advanced options. I click on that and it says, here's your option to import previous settings and preferences. So you can start clean with a new version or you can have your old templates and keyboard shortcut adjustments and you know all of that kind of thing. And look at this guy right here. This is what we're looking for. Remove old versions. I'm going to uncheck that box. And now when I update, it will install CC17, but it's gonna keep my current version, CC15. I happen to be recording Illustrator right now. And so I don't want that to change. So um, normally you just click update and it's gonna delete the old version and put the new one in. I want both, so I'm gonna click update now. And there it goes, it's installing it and it'll be done in just a few minutes. Another thing that I wanted to show you was down at the bottom of your screen here, you've got this find additional apps. And under here where it says all apps, view previous versions. Okay, now check this out. Now when I go under Photoshop, there's an install button, but it's not just a plain blue button like these guys up here. It's a drop down because I can choose, check that out, any version of Photoshop I want going back to CS6. This is excellent if you want to be able to get an earlier version of the software so that you can show people the differences. Maybe you're doing a training on that or you're talking to students. This is just an excellent way to kind of roll back to an earlier version if there's some reason that you need that. So I don't need that because I like to stay current. Illustrator just finished installing. If you heard the little ding there, I'm just recording a portion of the screen. So that's why you don't, you don't see everything happening. But that's all there is to it. So with the Creative Cloud, not only do you get every single app that is you know, a part of the Adobe Creative Cloud, every piece of software, but you also get every version of every piece of software going back all the way to CS6. It's just, you know, the cloud is such a great way for Adobe to be rolling out software. They can do updates faster. And as you can see here, you also have access to any version that you want. So um, especially for those of you that are working in testing centers and you're doing the ACA and people maybe get a copy of the software at home, you can show them this video and it will help them get the version of the software that you're using in class or in your training center. And uh, for those of you studying for the ACA, it's best to work in the version of the software that you'll actually be testing in. So as I said, I'm recording right now where CC15 is the only exams, I think this summer which is the summer of 2017, I think that Certiport is planning on sort of updating all of the apps to the 2017 version. But until then, having a version of uh, the software on your computer that's the same that students or you are gonna be seeing when you take the real test, probably will come in handy. So anyway, that's it, I'm Rob Schwartz, I'm out of here. More tips and tricks about the Creative Cloud, Adobe software, and how to get certifiably creative.